is up everyone, it's Hayes here and welcome back to Alan Wake. Before we start, I just want to say thank you to Nautilus, who said that the audio quality or the audio of the game should be higher because my voice is way too high and that I'm also talking a lot during the cutscene, so I'm gonna try and not talk during the cutscene so much. And yeah, thank you Nautilus for a great comment and let's keep on playing, shall we? Okay. Last time I actually couldn't find my way up there, but uh, off screen, off recording, I looked around and there was this shack, there was a generator, so I fired it up and I could move these locks here, right here, so I did that and now I should be able to cross. So sorry that I didn't record that, but it wasn't really all that much fun to begin with, so yeah, now we're making progress. Let's see what do we have up here. I think, yeah, there is, there's a radio, okay, let's turn that shit on, well, listen to some music. I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still, the sky okay. is crystal clear, it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Okay, man, I... Don't really feel like listening to all of that. Sorry. Mm. We should get. We are still on our way to the gas station. The gas station was closer yep, now. Exactly. It's light welcoming in the darkness. And hopefully, what? The best is is the best with no okay. Whatever you say, dude. It's What's your deal, man? What's your deal with the dogs? Okay, some stuff. Let's pick that shit up and... Oh shit, okay. We got company. Fuck. Damn it, Ellen. Listen to my commands and move. Okay. Let's get rid of the fucking hell, man. Why do you chop me off? I'm not... Fuck. Dude, just die, okay? Thank you, thank you very much. Whew, I'm so, so extremely bad at dodging. That I just get hit all the time. Whoop, whoop. And, okay, here we go. We got some light, we can heal up and continue on our journey. Hmm, where should we go from here? There's a path right here, so let's try this one. Ooh, spooky forest, man. Oh shit, my pet if I was here. Oh, come on, guys. We talked about this. I don't want you in my life, okay? Go home. If you have a home. And I doubt you have. Because you're freaking ghost or whatever. Okay. We should be good for now. Hopefully. There's some light right here. Oh, it's a manuscript page. I still haven't read the manuscript pages, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that as soon as I can. But not, I don't feel I don't really feel like doing it right now. So hope you don't mind. If you do, please let me know. I would really love to know because I don't want to uh, like miss any anything from the story, anything important. If there's if there's anything important in the manuscript, please let me know. Oh, I see something. Uh, it's a uh, Spec, okay, there's an arrow. There's something else here. Maybe some supplies up here. There's another oh shit, I see it. It's right here. Thank you, whoever put those arrows up and now I have a flare gun. Even though I'm not sure how that's gonna help me, but okay. It's at least something. Okay. Oh! Crap. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, man, whatever floats your boat. I'm not gonna judge, but I'm just gonna go to the gas station because I'm freaking hungry. I want some energy drinks, I want some food, maybe some gas for my non existent car, and. Whew. You guys, you guys are persistent. I'm gonna give you that, but. Behold the power of my friggin' flashlight. Ugh. Okay. Let's reload everything and kill the last guy. It's the 
it quite bothers me that I ho don't have a crosshair. But so far, it seems to be working. So, yeah, I don't really mind all that much. And let's explore a little bit in here. Okay, lithium batteries. Thank you. And ooh, a sweet, sweet shotgun. Now we're talking. Okay. You know, usually when game gives you a shotgun on just a stronger weapon it means that stronger enemies are coming so yeah immortality on those who advance it to emulate all of mankind Einstein Sagan princes among men but the price for such a legacy is steep indeed in night springs all right episode a quantum suicide That's weird, but interesting at the same time. But I don't really feel like watching a show right now because, you know, we have shit to do, places to go, and another manuscript page. Thank you very much. Right, right, right. What do we have here? What even is this machine? I think I just turned something off. Whoa, that, this, is, this is creepy as fuck, man. I smell an ambush coming. Exactly. Where are you guys? Don't hunt for me. I hear you. But I don't see you and that quite bothers me. So please show your faces. Oh my god. Just give me the shotgun and... Oh shit, he's right here. And... Please go away, guys. I don't. Oh. This is hard, man. Ow! That hurts. Don't do that. Oh shit! I don't want to die here. I don't want to die here. No, 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 no. Holy crap! No! I just died. <sighs> Amazing. Let's do that one again. And you're dead. Maybe you were dead before, but I don't care. You're dead once and more. Let's reload battery once more and... God damn it, this guy is crazy. Look at him go. It's freaking Usain Bolt. Woo, dude. Come here. What are you doing? This guy is insane. I mean, who wouldn't be insane in if you were a fucking hell? Ow! Dude, I'm so bad at dodging. Nope. I see you. This is a special one. This is a special one. Whoa! Fucking this guy. He just teleports around. Boom! Fuck. No, you don't. It's stucky. Is it is this stucky? Are you stucky? I'm not gonna stuck it! Ah, fuck yeah. He's stronger than the others. Boom! Fuck. Revolver. And there he goes. Nordic walking. Stucky's body vanished, leaving yeah, behind Stucky. only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Whew. That was an intense battle, I'm gonna say that, but... Whew. I'm extremely bad at dodging. I need to... I just need to get good, if you know what I mean. If you play Dark Souls... Damn, I should play Dark Souls again. It was a fun game. Uh, now we're playing Alan Wake, and we should be getting to do pretty damn close to the gas station right now. And there's a gate, so let me just press this big button or pull the lever, okay. Well, I'm surprised it's actually working, because a whole lot of stuff in this place, stuff, I mean, <laughs> is not working. At all. Gasoline. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> kind of. Kind of weird, kind of creepy right now, but... You know... After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Okay. 
This is like a safe place for us. Okay, we could heal here, but we're already at full health. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. <laughs> this is awesome. It's kind of cheesy, but you know, still awesome. The Deer awesome. Fest had been two weeks away Deer when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Missing a whole week. Okay. That's weird. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. Yeah, it's kind of... Whoa. All right. I'll keep writing. This is Outside, me? there's only darkness. Outside the cabin. Outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel a presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell a perfume in the room. I'll reach what? out to fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? I think I already lost my mind when I get here. Maybe even before that. Am I dead? Will the end of the game be like, mm, you know, you're dead. <laughs> you're a dead writer. This was your last, I don't know, bestseller or something. And there's the deer fest. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie con pie contest. Oh, <laughs> pie contest and surprise competitions. Like music. And a whole lot of other stuff. Well, okay. I would like to see this deer fest. Whatever it is. Use the phone. Okay, let's use the phone. It's not gonna be working. Right ball sheriff station. Or maybe it will be working. Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Tiptoes to my room every night And just to sprinkle stardust and to whisper Go to sleep, everything is This is awesome right. Previously on Alan Wake I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice Thank you for coming here with me I thought maybe you could write here I don't want to hear it, god damn it, Alice Now, she's missing Alice? behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. Taken. Oh, so we're going back. Okay. Ever seen. This you should put some coffee weird. on. It'll warm you up. Yeah. Hey, handsome. Just give me some coffee. This is gonna be Ooh, a la long la. night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Yeah. Just don't mind me. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna get, grab this huge coffee thermos. And is this me? Are these pictures of me? 
God damn it, I'm handsome. Okay. I'm just gonna go a look around the house. Okay, maybe not. So this is weird. Why am I here three years ago? This doesn't make a whole lot of... Oh, maybe, maybe it will make sense. Like, what am, I, what am I talking about? But this was really weird. All the cutscenes that... The, it's... The cabin is it's not there. It's non-existent, basically. And, uh, I don't know. It's just so weird. But I didn't talk during the cutscene, so <laughs> I hope I hope that will be to uh, that will better this video at least a little bit. Nice, nice house, man. And Alice, Ellen, and Alice, of course. Let's turn this on. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated this reminds me of uh, the story in Max Payne. I love that game. Maybe I'll do a second playthrough of that one on this channel. Who knows? Because that was, you know, all the time in the in the big snowstorm. Just New York City was buried in snow and it was awesome. Max Payne is awesome. Love it. Okay, but right now, okay, she wanted me to put on coffee, right? Okay, where's the kitchen? It's right here. So let's just... Let's just try and be good husbands to our wives. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Yeah, I just got a coffee before starting this episode, so it helps me with everything. And oh, yeah. hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. Okay, let no me kidding. see. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you seem to think so last night. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what should we examine? This thing? Right here? No. Um. More cups. Actually, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I have no idea what mock, mock ups are. Oh, I think this is the thing. Yeah. These look really oh, good. The oh, cardboard sure. cutouts. Barry gets his hands on them, which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. <laughs> The last time was the last time. Yeah, okay. Uh, speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh. Alan! Alan! Uh, I'm on my way. Wait, wait, wait. I'm I actually right want to see I'm this. It, Please hurry. Yeah, yeah, don't you worry. Okay, I have my own books in here. That's the next level of narcissism, Alan. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's awesome. Okay, so. Where's the really goddamn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm your tits. Calm your tits, okay? Okay, let's just find a fuse box because I'm pretty damn sure that we would be just. Focused. Oh, okay, it's right here. We'll just be wasting time. It's a power outage. I've got the flashlight. Okay. Okay, so what should we do now? Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just. Oh, she doesn't like dark. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Yeah. I know it's stupid. Let's bring the romantic just, also. Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. 
Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll okay. let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Okay, I don't think Sheriff can really help us with this kind of stuff because, you know, all the shadowy people. Yeah, they, uh, Alan is smart. Alan is a smart guy. He just Thanks hits you again. Thanks for the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. <laughs> I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. <laughs> I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. This lady, this lady is just crazy. Okay. Oh, give me that coffee. Come on. I was pressing F for some reason. What do we have here? Uh, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Okay. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal no. today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Yeah, I think Stucky is. The sheriff is yeah, waiting yeah, for you I in know. the office down the corridor. Oh, so she's in the office. On in the that office. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. <laughs> she used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Damn, Ellen is a badass. Like taking all of that beating, all of these axes in the face. And he's still going strong. And as I said before, he's a smart guy. I believe you'll find the uh, Okay, in our sorry, 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 sorry. Just Wrong room. And yeah, he's. What do we have here? Oh, missing. Okay. So there's a whole lot of shit going on in this freaky town. Come in, Mr. Wake. Okay. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Okay. So... Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's oh. gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? What the Go F? The back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. We're watching you, you say? Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. Nah, I'm sure said I could go out back. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Okay, okay, you all just stop talking, please. Way too much. Hey. Fuck off. The early morning light <laughs> hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Okay, let me just pick some coffee, turn on some music. Or maybe not, actually. Okay. So there's supposed to be a hole in the fence, if I'm right. Not here, on the other side. This is weird. Oh, okay. Let's just get over there. Okay. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Okay, let's kick. Okay. The baddest way. Of course. I'm freaking out awake, man. What did you expect? Alice's driver's license mm. had been placed on the front seat. Oh. The caller meant business. So something's in here, okay. Hmm? Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. 
I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Okay, this is getting really, really interesting. By the way, I'm really sorry that I'm not talking so much, but there's a whole lot of monologue and dialogue going on right now. A right what? Of light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Marvelous, what the hell is going on in his in this place? Okay, we have to convince her. Okay, let's do this, Alan. I believe in you, man. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! oh. oh my. Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. So this is Barry, huh? <laughs> yeah. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was <laughs> just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the mats. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! <laughs> oh, Barry. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, <laughs> Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated and to you. You're and absolutely she was into very her. Helpful <laughs> when I was looking for you. Seriously, okay. Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. Nice what, bear. you shot a guy? And his body just disappeared. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? <laughs> nope. No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do and you everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't you gotta calm down, guys. This story could be a bestseller, but when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. <laughs> wait here. Yeah, wait here, Barry. That's a whole lot of talking involved, and holy crap, that's a buck the Charlie Colombian man move. Awesome. Okay, so I've been playing for like, what, 30 minutes? Holy crap, okay, I need to stop this episode right here. Even though it was really talky, a whole lot of talking in this episode, I'm sorry, but you know, we got a whole lot of story, a whole lot of background to go on. And yeah, I believe uh, in the next episode we're gonna see a whole lot of more of action. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. Leave a thumbs up if you did and even subscribe for more because there's definitely more stuff coming. So yeah, I'll be seeing guys in the next video. Have a nice day and cheers!